everybody, welcome to another Plan With Me video this week. This week's video is going to be an October monthly setup. So first we're going to start off with the monthly cover page. I decided to make October themed cats because who doesn't like cats? Especially if you're on the internet. As always, I started off with a sketch because I don't trust myself to draw with pen. A lot of bad accidents can happen with just plain pen, but that also means these videos take quite a while to make. What a bummer! I'm using two different colors for the shingles of the roof, and that is because I've learned the more layers of color you put on an image, the more fancy it looks, right? The more, like, mmm, professional it looks. And then I have a brick chimney up like there to add to the little empty space that was going on over there. But the red is so close to the shingles. Uh, oh well, you could still tell it's a chimney, right? And I was really ha I was debating to make the October word white, but then the background would be black because it's a night sky. But then I was like, that I could easily mess it up real bad. So I decided to make the uh, October letters black and then the background could be in a gradient of dark colors, specifically dark purples and dark blues because like I said earlier, the more layers of color you add to an image, the more professional and pristine it looks. However, right now it's looking like uh, my Lion King shirt with stripes. so. You gotta blend those colors together. Blend, 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 blend. Like your contour, ladies. Blend, blend, blend. I mean, you don't have to blend your contour if you don't want to. It's all up to you. And then I was really scared of messing up the cat, so I decided to just outline it in gray and not color it in, just in case I messed up. I mean, it does look good white, doesn't it? to the monthly spread. Again, another cat, because October is all about kitties. <laughs> this time I put a scarf on the kitty because it's cold. Last night it was so cold I was sneezing all night. Time to bring out the heavy blankets. So there's my purple scarf. Again, I used two different purples for this scarf for the added layer effect. And I decided to do the same thing I did with the front cat, which is outline uh, this cat with gray. And this is a gray midliner because Crayola gray apparently is like really dark compared to the midliner gray. And I really wanted like a light gray color. And then I drew some leaves on the top of the calendar because the top of the calendar was like completely empty. These leaves are orange and red different than the green and yellow I used on a previous weekly spread. And I, I don't know how I like these leaves. They look kind of funny and unnatural to me, but right next to me were uh, orange and red leaves just like these ones. So I don't understand uh, what was wrong. <laughs> so sorry. This was a long, tedious part, but I had to do something with these letters. Uh, so I outlined them in black and then I felt like that was very minimal and so later I outlined them in or I didn't outline them and later I filled them in with black uh, Crayola marker because that was less minimal and by the way I always make the initial for Thursday on R uh, so it's different than Tuesday but then I always make Saturday and Sunday uh, with two S's because S's are a nice letter. <laughs> and if you notice, the B in October is like completely messed up. I tried so hard to fix it. You can also tell that the T was uh, filled in with a skinny Crayola uh, marker, but then I decided to use a fat Crayola marker to, you know, speed up the time. But now all the letters are really sloppy because fat markers are hard to control. Just like crayons are hard to control, which is why I prefer colored pencils. My hands are small, you see. 
And if you notice that I started this month with a Sunday instead of my usual starting uh, month with a Monday, but that is because freaking October is such a fat month. It would have needed six layers if I wanted to start with a Monday and I didn't want to make my squares that small. Anyway, back to the tasks at hand. Last thing I had to do was color in the or outline the boxes for the calendar and then add the little numbers on it, which I forgot to do while filming, so I had to do it afterwards. Hope you don't mind, but they aren't just numbers. But it's also just for inspiration, uh, not for you to copy. Although if you do recreate any of my spreads, go ahead and tag me on Instagram so I can admire it and say thank you and feel happy and maybe show them in a video one day. You never know. As long as you give me permission, of course. Because I know a lot of people don't like to uh, put their stuff public. And that's the Arc Hole Punch! If you are skeptical about buying the Arc Hole Punch, because it is very expensive, um, I'd say go for it because it's quite sturdy and nifty and nice, and I use it all the time, to be honest. And now it's time for the montage of beautifulness! Here we go! all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give a like and subscribe for more bullet journal videos. I put out a new video every single Sunday. Thank you so much for watching and you'll see me or hear me next time. Bye!